serve your life. Yeah. Hari Om Namaste to all. Prostrating at the lotus feet of Brahmanishta, Shotriya, Sadguru, Swami, Virajeshwara, Saraswati, and the entire Guru Parampara, on behalf of all of us, today's discourse on Viveka Chodamani will continue. Om Shri Ganeshaya Namaha, Om Shri Mahasarswatya Namaha, Sada Shiva Samarambham, Sri Shankaracharya Madhyamam, Asmadacharya Pariyantam, Vande Guru Paramparam. Shruti Smruti Purana Namalayam Karunalayam, Namami Bhagavat Padam Shankaram Loka Shankaram. Shankaram Shankaracharyam Keshavam Badarayanam, Sutra Bhashya Krudo Vande Bhagavantau Punah Punaha. Sarva Vedanta Siddhanta Gocharam Tamagocharam Govindam Paramanandam Sadgurum Pranados Neham Namo Bhagavate Virajeshwaraya Sariho. Last time we had stopped at Shloka number 315 in the Vivek Chodamani. And uh, Hardly there were two or three minutes left in the end due to technical problem and the loss of the internet connection. Last two, three minutes, it was not. We were not able to complete that. It was so the, in the last few sets of shlokas, Acharya is explaining about the triad and to give up the triad. That what is the triad? He was explaining in all these shlokas. One is vasana. The other one is vishaya chintana, and the third one is subsequent karma. So vasanas, urges, the instinctive urge, you know, the stimuli that, you know, suddenly an urge will develop. I want to do this. I have to do this. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want this or I want that. That sudden urge is called vasana. And that propels subsequent thoughts. Thoughts are generated. One after another, connected with the vasana, what it is there in our mind, carried from so many births, unfulfilled desires, they appear in the form of instinctive tendencies, feelings, like vasana. Then the thoughts generated. Subsequently, we perform the action connected, proportion to the thoughts generated in our mind. So Acharya was dealing, he is dealing in the set of shlokas. All these vasana lead to vishaya chintana and vishaya chintana will lead to karmas. And all the three have to be discarded, my dear disciple, if you want to be on the path of this sadhana, if you want to be in the path of realization, you have to be careful. Those thoughts Yugalu, Nama Adhyatma Sadhani gave Balavada Addi and the Acharya Shankar of Nekota Saitla. So, three hundred and sixteen, the shloka onwards we are commencing today. Priyana She Bhavet Jinta Nashaha Asmat Vasana Kshayaha Vasana Prakshayo Mokshaha Sajivan Mokti Rishyate. 
क्रियानाशे भवे चिंता नाश अस्मा वासनाक्षय वासना प्रक्षयो मोक्ष स जीवन मुक्तिरिष्य नौ दिस इज अ लैंडमार्क श्लोक हिय आचार्य शंकर भगवत्द टेलिंग द डिसपल द मुमुक्षु द जिज्ञासु remember how jeevan mukti is attained jeevan mukti here he refers to as liberation total freedom from the cycle of birth and death jeevan mukti ya bagge maatnaadta iddare aacharya ee shlokadalli jeevan mukti antandre janana marana ee chakradinda bidugade hondu shashvatavada bidugu मत पुनर्जन्म इला को जन्म देह इले तजस्वरूप अरीव अर्थक अनुभव इे जीवन मुक्ति अंत कर्म नाशव ते तान विषय चिंतने नाशवे वासनू नाशव आदि वासन नाश अथवा वासना क्षय अदे निजवाद मोक्ष अदे मुक्ति अंतर श्लोक श्लोक आचार्य स्टेली इन दि श्लोक दि वेन आल दि ऐक्शन वट एवर वि आर् प्रोपेल ड्यू टू अवर् वासना दि अर्ज ड्यू टू अवर् अर्ज ड्यू टू दाट रिटिंग टू दि अर्ज आल सच ऐक्शन if by force by determination consciously all the time all the time contemplating and thinking and reflecting doing manana that these actions what i am trying to do they lead to further increase in my own vasanas they further give rise to new thoughts the further give rise to new desires so if i fulfill this desire today subsequently another desire will start germinating in my own mind if i try to fulfill that by doing another set of karma actions appropriate actions then another desire will spring so there is no end for the desires like waves wave upon wave the desires will hit my mind and all the time i indulge and i indulge in the actions and actions and karmas and more karmas more karmas and more karma thereby i end up in ultimately the total misery and grief ultimately the happiness will vanish mind becomes restless so always i am sucked into the mode of action all the time all the time that means my mind will go away from the spiritual path the main purpose of me is to know who really i am i am that super supreme conscious i am that real awareness that i will forget i become more and more disconnected by more and more actions so by such contemplation आचार्य से क्रियानाशे भवे चिंता नाश अस्मा वासना क्षय सो बै स्टापिंग ऑल मै ऐक्शन वाट हैपन चिंता नाश दि थाट्स द थाट्स दे आलो विल स्टाप सबसाइड 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 बिकॉज आई एम आई एम नॉट यीलिंग टू द थाट्स वेन ए थाट कम्स इन आई मस्ट डू दिस आई मस्ट प्रोसेस दिस I'm not yielding. So once I am not yielding, I am very firm. The thought it will traverse in the mind. It will try to you know interfere in the mind. It will try to mesmerize my mind. It will try to trap my mind. But still, if I am firm, no. If I don't yield, easier said than done. If I don't yield, what happens? The thoughts will subside, 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 and they will vanish one day. 
So when the thoughts vanished, what happened? The vasana also will go. The urge, the urge, the primary instinctive feeling, the tendency which had developed and which resulted in the thought, the, the vasana also will vanish. So Acharya, Bhagavad Pada is you know, going in the reverse direction to see that we train ourselves right from the action mode, mode of action level itself. You stop your action, the thoughts will subside. When the thoughts will subside, the vasanas also will subside. See, one is linked with the other. Karma galanna nama asiga nunuvayi bandir takkanta karma galanna nao kashta pattu bhaala palavanta dinda manasana bigi hidudu viveka dinda idu yatakoskara maadu veku nanna valagale iru asai poorai kekke ee karma vanna maadu veku idana maadu vere ee asai na poorai sidare mattond asai baruttala adara hindi adara hindi mattond asai hukkattala ಒಂದೊಂದೇ ಆಸೆಯನ್ನ ಪೂರೈಕೆ ಪೂರೈಸ್ತಾ ಹೋದಷ್ಟು ಹೊಸ ಹೊಸ ಆಸೆಗಳು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಆದ್ರಿಂದ ಕರ್ಮಗಳನ್ನೇ ಮಾಡೋದು ಬೇಡ ಬಲವಾಗಿ ಬಲವಾಗಿ ಮನಸ್ಸನ್ನ ಬಿಗಿ ಹಿಡಿಯೋದು ಅಂತ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಅದನ್ನ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದ ಕರ್ಮಗಳನ್ನ ಬಿಗಿ ಹಿಡಿಯೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಚಿಂತನೆಗಳು ಆ ವಿಷಯ ಚಿಂತನೆಗಳು ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದರಿಂದ ವಾಸನೆ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಮುಂದೇನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಮುಂದಿನ ಚರಣ ವಾಸನ ಪ್ರಕ್ಷಯೋ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಸ ಜೀವನ್ ಮುಕ್ತಿರಿ Acharya is now making a very firm, very assertive, very clear, very precise, with point of no doubt, without any doubt, with least iota of any doubt, he is declaring. He is clearly mentioning this point in the second chapter. What is that? Vasana prakshayo moksha sa jevan mukhtarishya. So look, my dear disciple. Once the vasanas subside, vanish, they are destroyed, they are annihilated. Nodappa Shishya. Vasanagalu sampoonu vage kshayava adaga manasnaliya. Vasanagalu e illa anta adaga. Ashava adaga. Adhe asthiti enne moksha sthiti yate karita. Nodappa Shishya. Vasana kshayave moksha sthiti. ಸ ಜೀವನ್ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಇಷ್ಟತೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಜೀವನ್ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಅಂತನು ಬಲ್ಲವರು ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ತಿಳಿದವರು ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸ ಜೀವನ್ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಇಷ್ಟ ಆಚಾರ್ಯರು ಬಹಳ ಸ್ಪಷ್ಟವಾಗಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ನಾವು ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚರಣ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಸೋ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಡಿಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಸನಾ ಪ್ರಕ್ಷಯೋ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಸೊ ದಿ ಅನಿಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಸನಾ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಈಸ್ liberation moksha mukti salvation vasana kshaya itself the total vasana kshaya annihilation of the urge impulses in the mind which is generate the desire so the total annihilation no more vasana mind is pure mind is transparent like a prism so no more vasanas so vasana kshaya prakshaya means destruction of the vasanas means mukti moksha liberation sa jivan mukti ittati that is also called jivan mukti moksha and jivan mukti are one and while you are living in the body still in the body in the shariram you become jivan mukta acharya is not once the vasanas completely go away <coughs> it leads to jivan mukti what does it mean you are liberated still while you are living you are liberated still when while you are living in the body you will know that you are no more the body the jnana will dawn in a flash that you are no more the body you are the supreme consciousness parama chaitanya you are ultimately that only so that is this state is called jivan mukti acharya is talking here vasana prakshayo moksha sa jivan mukti ishyate he is making so clear
this shloka is so interesting so simple but so profound so difficult listening reading that is one aspect understanding one aspect but experiencing experiencing that is a question mark in this connection i remember how one said gurudev though it looked a humorous way of his point mentioning but so profound meaning it was like a like like a i don't know how i should explain that only <laughs> gurudev know you know humorously while one fine day in the solitude he told me suddenly look vasana kshaya is so difficult a removal removal means see they, they are generated in the mind you, know, you you cannot you cannot put a particular urge in your mind you cannot decide which urge should come first which urge should come next or you cannot say today no more urges stop you cannot dictate your mind because mind controls you you cannot control them in the normal in the normal life so gurudev is telling vasanakshay is so difficult it is easier to say but very very difficult to understand let alone experience it's so difficult to explain because these urges are carried from so many previous births in the life look not that they have come today in your life now they are there carried 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 over and over and over and over from so many births very difficult when the jnana dawns in or gurudev continue when the jnana dawns in by the grace of the almighty by the grace of ishwara by ishwara krupa he said when the jnana dawns in all the vasanas get annihilated vasana kshaya will occur then he said one more thing that is very intriguing very very confusing is a paradox i call it gurudev was known for such a paradoxes and leave it to your own analysis and manana reflection later then he said one more thing see when vasana kshaya occurs jnana will dawn when the jnana dawns vasana kshaya will occur see the sentence go through the sentence this is i call it as paradox cash 22 situation when the vasana kshaya occurs completely jnana dawns in that is realization occurs when the jnana dawns in vasana kshaya will occur annihilation destruction of vasana so look at the two sentences what our gurudev mentioned all that can be said here is vasana kshaya and realization or the dawn of jnana they are inseparable totally totally interlinked totally interlinked i leave it to your good judgment to think on that contemplate on that next sadva <coughs> sadvasana spurti vijramane sati aso vilina pi ahama devasana अति प्रकृष्टापि अरुण प्रभाया विलीयते साधु यथा तमिश्रा सद्वासना स्फूर्ति विजंबणे सति असौ विलीना अपि अहमादिवासना 
ಅತಿ ಪ್ರಕೃಷ್ಟಿ ಅರುಣ ಪ್ರಭಾಯಂ ವಿಲೀಯತೆ ಸಾಧು ಯಥಾತ್ತ ಮಿಶ್ರ ಬೆಳಗಿನ ಜಾವ ಅರುಣೋದಯ ಸಮಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಹುಟ್ಟೋ ಸಮಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಹುಟ್ಟೋ ತನಕ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಗಾಢವಾದ ಕತ್ತಲೆ ಆ ಕತ್ತಲೆಯಿಂದ ಉಂಟಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಅನರ್ಥ ಪರಂಪರೆಗಳು ಯಾವಾಗ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೂರ್ಯೋದಯ ಆದ ಕೂಡಲೇ ಆ ಕತ್ತಲೆ ಹೊರಟೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಕತ್ತಲೆಯ ಪರಿಣಾಮಗಳು ಹೊರಟೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಹುಟ್ಟೋ ತನಕ ಕತ್ತಲೆ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಹುಟ್ಟಿದ ನಂತರ ಕತ್ತಲೆ ಹೊರಟೋಗಿ ಅದೇ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಆಚಾರ್ಯರು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಇದು ಉದಾಹರಣೆ ಇಟ್ಟು ಸದ್ವಾಸನ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮವಾಸನ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಭಾವ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಭಾವ ವಾಸನ ಇದು ಉತ್ಪತ್ತಿ ಆದಾಗ ಉತ್ಪತ್ತಿ ಆದಷ್ಟು ಅಹಂ ಆದಿವಾಸನ ನಾನು ಈ ನಾನು ನಾನು ಅನ್ನೋ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಈ ಮನ ಈ ಮನಸ್ಸು ಇತ್ಯಾದಿಗಳು ತಾನೇ ತಾನಾಗಿ ವಿಲೀನವಾಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಮನಸ್ಸಿನಿಂದ ಏನು ಈ ಶರೀರಾಭಿಮಾನ ಬಂದಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಂಥವನು ನಾನು ಇದನ್ನು ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅದನ್ನು ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಇವೆಲ್ಲವೂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮವಾಸನೆ ಸದ್ವಾಸನೆ ಅದರ ಉತ್ಪತ್ತಿಯಿಂದ ಅದರ ಪ್ರಭಾವದಿಂದ ಇವೆಲ್ಲವೂ ನಾಶವಾಗ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಸೂರ್ಯೋದಯದ ಬೆಳಕಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಕತ್ತಲೆ ಮತ್ತು ಅದರ ಪರಿಣಾಮಗಳು ನಾಶವಾಗುತ್ತೋ ಆ ರೀತಿ ವಾಸನೆಗಳು ಮತ್ತು ಅದರ ಪರಿಣಾಮಗಳು ತತ್ಸ್ವರ ತತ್ಸಂಬಂಧ ಪರಿಣಾಮ ಎಲ್ಲವೂ ಸದ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಾಸನೆ ಉತ್ಪತ್ತಿಯಾದಾಗ ತಾನೇ ತಾನಾಗಿ ಅರ್ಥವಾಗುತ್ತದೆ ಅಂತ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ವಾಟ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಸ್ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಇಯರ್ ಸದ್ವಾಸನಾ ಸ್ಫೂರ್ತಿ ವಿಜೃಂಭತೆ ಸತಿ ಲುಕ್ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಎಲ್ ಸಾಹೇಬ್ ಸತಿ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ದ ಮೊಮೆಂಟ್ ದ ಮೊಮೆಂಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮವಾಸನ when the brahma vasana increases brahma nishtha vasana increases when you, when you become aware when you start concentrating on the brahma pada para brahma vastu when you start reflecting on tatvamasi mahavakya you start reflecting aham brahmasmi mahavakya you start reflecting again and again again and again prajnanam brahma sarvam kalvidam brahma ಸತ್ಯಂ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಅನಂತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಹಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಆಲ್ ಸಚ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ವಚನ ಯು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾಂಟೆಂಪ್ಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾಂಟೆಂಪ್ಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಸ್ತು ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಇನ್ ಅದರ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಸೊ ದ ಮೋರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ದ ಮೋರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಗಾಡ್ ಆರ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಆರ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಸ್ತು ಸಾಕಾರ ಆರ್ ನಿರಾಕಾರ ತತ್ವ the more you concentrate on that your the original sharira abhimana due to ego complex mind ego complex that i am the body i am this stula sharira they will gradually vanish so the more you think the more you opt the more you allow your mind with the brahma vasana then what happens all other the vasana of your ego your mind body mind complex these vasanas they will vanish just like when the sun ray appears in the at the dawn period early morning the darkness and the related effect of the darkness they will vanish in the absence of the sun ray the darkness was there in the night now the moment the sun reflects in the east in eastern horizon the darkness will vanish that is the example actually is given tamas tamah karyam anartha jalam na drushyate sat yudite dine eshe tatha advayam dhotau na vasti bandho na cha dukha gandha same example next shloka acharya continues the same example tamastama karyam anartha jalam nashyate sati udite dineshe tatha advayanandara sanubhutau 
न वास्ति बंधो न च दुख गंध न व अस्ति बंधः न च दुख गंध टी वर्ड्स लास्ट चरण सो वेन द सन राइजस सूर्य बेळगेद कूडले कत्तले ಮತ್ತು ಆ ಕತ್ತಲೆಯ ಕಾರ್ಯಗಳು ಆ ತಮಸ್ಸು ತಮಸ್ಸು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಕತ್ತಲೆ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಆ ತಮಸ್ಸು ಆ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಅದರ ಕಾರ್ಯಗಳು ಎಲ್ಲವೂ ನಾಶವಾಗಿ ಹೋಗುವ ಹಾಗೆ ಸೂರ್ಯನ ಬೆಳಕಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಅದೇ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾನಂದ ರಸ ಅನುಭೂತಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇರಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಭಾವ ಸ್ಫುಟವಾಗಿರ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾನಂದ ರಸಭೂತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮನಸ್ಸು ಕೃತ್ವಾಗಿ ಮುಳುಗಿರ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಏನಾಗತ್ತೆ ಆಗ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಬಂಧನ ಇರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ದುಃಖದ ಗಂಧವೇ ಇರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ದುಃಖವೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ಬಂಧನವೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾನಂದ ಅನುಭೂತ ಸ್ಥಿತಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲವೂ ಹೊರಟೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಹೇಳಿ ಸೊ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ದ ಸನ್ ರೈಸಸ್ ನ ದೃಶ್ಯತೆ ಸತಿ ಉದಿತೇ ದಿನೇ ದಿನೇಶೇ ಉದಿತೇ ಸತಿ ವೆನ್ ದ ಸನ್ ರೈಸಸ್ ದ ಮೊಮೆಂಟ್ ಸನ್ ರೈಸಸ್ ತಮಃ ತಮಃ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಅನರ್ಥ ಜಾಲಂ ನ ದೃಶ್ಯತೆ ದಿ ತಮಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸಿಂಬಲೈಸಸ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಶರೀರಾಭಿಮಾನ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ದ ಡ್ಯುಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ಸಚ್ perfect nature of duality persisting in the world everything everything together tamah tamakaryam anartha jalam na drushyati so the moment the sun rises darkness and related effects of the darkness will vanish in the same way tatha advayananda rasana bhuto nava asti bandho ನವ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಬಂಧ ನ ದುಃಖ ಗಂಧ ನವಾಸ್ತಿ ಬಂಧೋ ನ ದುಃಖ ಗಂಧ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ವೆನ್ ಅದ್ವಯಾನಂದ ರಸಾನುಭೂತಿ ಅಕ್ಕರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ರಿಯಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಡಾನ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ರಿಯಲ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೀ ಹೂ ಐ ಮೈ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಎನಿ ಮೋರ್ i am that i am that one. so when that brahma bhava occurs when that sarvatma bhava occurs from when that brahma nishtha bhava occurs in the mind what happens then there is no more bondage nava asti bandaha nava asti bandaha bandaha asti na cha dukha gandaha neither there is bondage nor there is misery nor there is sorrow or grief or whatever it is. there is no more shoka shoka means misery dukha bandha also means shoka shoka sanskrit word samsrutam shabd moha attachment elsewhere repeatedly it was told in the beginning that acharya has given wonderful definitions in different different contexts in the introduction to bhagavad gita bhashya acharya says samsara means in english i am trying to put it very simply samsara means shoka and moha shoka plus moha is equal to samsara simplest way of putting it. shoka plus moha is equal to samsara the simplest finest easiest definition what is samsara what is this life cycle life cycle of birth and death it is full of misery full of suffering shoka and moha full of attachment full of attachment see from birth to death you and me and anyone in the world attached to someone in their life in their life attached whether they are parents kids and kids brothers sisters uncle aunt and above all wife or husband then followed by children and subsequently the when the children are married 
their spouses grandchildren see that forms your own mini world within this world so you are attached you are totally attached without your knowledge all the sides the cob web of attachment and dear you feel sorry you feel hurt and something happens in the family you feel so sorry so there is shoka why shoka and moha they go together in samsara so that is called samsara your happy moments are very very less in life sir ಮನುಷ್ಯನಿಗೆ ಆಚಾರ್ಯರು ಹೇಳಿದ ಹಾಗೆ ಸಂಸಾರ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತೆ ಭಾಷ್ಯದ ಅವತರಣಿಕೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಸಂಸಾರ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನೋಡಪ್ಪ ಶೋಕ ಮತ್ತು ಮೋಹ ಮೋಹ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಇವರು ನನ್ನವರು ನನ್ನವರು ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ಭಾವ ಶೋಕ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಕಳತಾ ಇರೋದು ಮನಸ್ಸಿನಲ್ಲಿ ನನಗೆ ಇದಾಗ್ಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ಅದಾಗ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಈ ತೊಂದರೆ ಬಂತು ಇನ್ ಅದು ಹೋಗೋದ್ರೊಳ ಮತ್ತೊಂದು ತೊಂದರೆ ಬಂತು ಇದು ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ದೊಡ್ಡ ಆಘಾತ ಆಯಿತು ಮನಸ್ಸು ಇವರು ಏನಾಗ್ಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ಆಗ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ನನ್ನವರು ನನ್ನ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಸರಿ ಹೋಗಲಿಲ್ಲ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಂಡತಿ ಸರಿಗಿಲ್ಲ ನನ್ನ ಗಂಡ ಸರಿಗಿಲ್ಲ ನನಗೆ ದುಡ್ಡಿಲ್ಲ ಸಂಸಾರ ನಡೆಸ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ 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 ಶೋಕಕ್ಕೆ ನೂರೆಂಟು ಕಾರಣಗಳು ಸೊ ದ ಮಿಸರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಗ್ರೀಫ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಶೋಕ್ ದುಃಖ ಬಂಧ ಇಯರೀಫ ನವ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಬಂಧ ನಚ ದುಃಖ ಗಂಧ ಸೊ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಲಿಬರೇಟೆಡ್ ನೀದರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ this bondage nor there is misery your samsara will vanish that means your shoka and attachment moha will vanish you are there you are there as long as your body is alive you are moving in your family or in the world your connected world your own individual world in your own canvas you are behaving and moving internally you have stabilized your mind has been totally purified vasanas have gone longings gone urges have gone desires have gone and you have become a pure witness you have become a total witness without any iota of discomfort in the mind so your mind has reached equanimity mode all the three gunas interplay you are watching rajoguna tamoguna and satvaguna every action is endowed influenced by one of the three gunas or all the three guna mixed mixed together and you become a sort of a a player in the field without playing anything like a watcher you are you are in the field you are not playing but you are watching you have become a witness internal but your body is performing all the functions earnestly sincerely diligently without attachment without moha so as long as that idea of attachment is there moha is there there is no emancipation no realization the moment the moha is gone vasanas are reduced completely gone longings are gone urges are gone then the state of happiness called eternal happiness brahmananda vritti brahmakara vritti will dawn in the mind again not by your personal effort because ego has to be destroyed it is due to the grace of the god or sadguru all that is possible ultimately by the grace of the guru or god so that's what acharya ತಥಾ ಅದ್ವೈಯಾನಂದರ ಸಾನುಭೂತೋ ನವ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಬಂಧ ನಚ ದುಃಖ ಗಂಧ ನವ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಬಂಧ ನಚ ದುಃಖ ಗಂಧ ಸೊ ವನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಅದ್ವಯಾನಂದ ರಸ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ನೆಸ್ ಯು ವೆನ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ದಿ ಓಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾನಂದ ಯು ಯು ಬಿಕಮ್ ದಿ ಓಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ಲಿಸ್ ಆಬ್ಸುಲೂಟ್ ಬ್ಲಿಸ್ ದೆನ್ where is the question of misery where is the question of 
individual attachment, individual possessive indulgence, indulgences in life. Where is the question of any desire to possess this or to have that? Now, Ishopanishad or Ishavasyopanishad as it is called, there is a beautiful Mahamantra, Anuvata, Vachana is there. Isha Upanishad, also called Isha Vasyopanishad, both are same. Upanishad says, see, for a realized person, for a jnani, in other words, for a Brahma jnani, or a Brahma with, a Brahma with means knower of Brahma, who has realized his true potentiality, who knows that in a flash he understood, he became aware. He experienced the first time that he is no more the body. There is no aversion, no attachment, no possessive feeling, no indulgence, uh, indulgences in life, no desire, and no karmas subsequent. So, for a jnani, a Brahma jnani, once he realizes his true nature, once he knows that there is no difference. There is only one vastu, sadvastu, brahma vastu, parabrahma vastu. There is only one. There is no second. For such a jnani, for such a realized mahatman, for such a sage, the Isha Upanishad, Isha Upanishad says, Tatrako mohaha kashokaha yekatvam manupashtataha. Tatrako mohaha kashoka yekatvam manupashtataha. Tatra kaha moha. Tatra kaha shokaha. Because yekatvam manupashtataha. Where is the attachment? Where is the Possessive urge, feelings, total attachment, mamakara. Where is that? Where is it? Tatra kaha moha, tatra kaha shoka. Where is the misery? Where is the grief? So neither there is attachment nor the fear of losing your own possessive things. So there is no grief, no misery, no suffering. So where is the attachment? Where is the suffering? All the time you have become purely, you, are, you, you, are, you have drunk with the Brahmananda Rasa. You are immersed in the Brahmananda, Nijananda. So, for a, such a person, he sees Ekatvam Manupashyata. He sees only one. There is no second. There is no individual differences. There is no duality at all. Multiplicity of forms and names and shapes, everything will vanish from his sight, from his standpoint of view. All that appears different, diversified, diversified names and forums, names and forums. Ultimately, all merge to only one, that Brahmapadartha. Whole thing underlying is only one Brahmapadartha. The same absolute Paramatma Sattva, Paramatma Tattva or Brahma Tattva, or Parabrahma Tattva, is manifesting itself in different forms and shapes and sizes, both living and non-living. Ekatvam Manupashyataha Yallavu Vande Brahma Padartha No Bhavane Rittakantaha Brahma Jnanike Brahma Bhavadal Iddhaga, Brahma Vastel Iddhaga Yallavu Vande Enta Gott Iddhaga Tortairo Jagattu E Vaividhyate Yuvagal Hindi Rittakantha Andu Vande Vande Adonde Nijwada was to Brahma Padartha, Parabrahma was to Daga, Ali Shoka Ki Eli Jaga Ide, Moha Ki Eli Jaga Ide. Ito Ishopanishat Kedoma Adane Achari really Tatha, Atvayananda Rasano Boto, Nava Asti, Mandaha, Nachadukta Gandaha, the head. In the Munde, Bartha Kanta Kelbush Loko Guru Achari Ru 
ಇನ್ನು ಮುಂದೆ ಬರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಶ್ಲೋಕಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಮಾದ ಪ್ರಮಾದದ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮಾತನಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಪ್ರಮಾದ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ವಿಘ್ನಕಾರಿಯಾಗತ್ತೆ ಅಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮ ಜೀವನದಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಮಾದ ಎನ್ನುವುದು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಒಂದು ದೊಡ್ಡ ತೊಡಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಅಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮ ಜೀವನದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಧನಾ ಮಾರ್ಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಮುಂದಿನ ಕೆಲವು ಶ್ಲೋಕಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಮಾದ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಪ್ರಮಾದ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಶಬ್ದ ಆದರೆ ಬೇಕಾದಷ್ಟು ಅರ್ಥಗಳು ಸುಲಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಪ್ರಮಾದ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ತಪ್ಪು ತಿಳುವಳಿಕೆ ತಪ್ಪು ಗ್ರಹಿಕೆ ಒಂದು ರೀತಿ ಅಸಡ್ಡೆ ಒಂದು ರೀತಿ ಅದರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಗಮನ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಇರೋದು ಒಂದು ರೀತಿ ಸೋಮಾರ್ತನದಿಂದ ಉಡಾಫೆಯಿಂದ ವರ್ತಿಸೋದು ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಪ್ರಮಾದ ಪ್ರಮಾದ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ನೌ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಮಾದ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಮಾದ ಇನ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಪ್ರಮಾದ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನೆಗ್ಲಿಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಮಾದ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫರ್ಗೆಟ್ಫುಲ್ನೆಸ್ ನೆಗ್ಲಿಜೆನ್ಸ್ forgetting our real divine nature so inadvertence negligence forgetfulness forgetting false impression mistake pramada means by mistake we identify something else we forget the reality we, we think of something else by mistake so by mistake is called pramada negligence is pramada. false identification also false impression pramada so he is talking about how the pramada becomes an obstacle in the sadhana mode itself in the next set of talk <coughs> drushyam pratitam pravilapayan svayam sanmat ಮಾನಂದ ಘನ ವಿಭಾವಯನ್ ಸಮಾಯತ ಸನ್ ಬಹಿರಂತರ ಸತಿ ಕರ್ಮ ಬಂಧೇ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ದೃಶ್ಯಂ ಪ್ರತೀತ ಪ್ರವಿಲಾಪಯನ್ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಸನ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಮಾನಂದ ಘನ ವಿಭಾವಯನ್ ಸಮಾಹಿತ ಸನ್ ಬಹಿರಂತರ ಕಾಲಂ ನಯೇತಾಹ ಸತಿ ಕರ್ಮ ಬಂಧೇ ನಾವು ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಫೈನಲ್ ಇಂಜಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಚರಣ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಜರ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ವಿತ್ ಫೋರ್ ಚರಣ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಏಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಚರಣ ಕಾಲಂ ನಯೇತಾ ಸತಿ ಕರ್ಮ ಬಂಧೇ ಕರ್ಮ ಬಂಧೇ ಸತಿ ಕಾಲಂ ನಯೇಥಾ ಇಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪ್ರಾರಬ್ಧ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಟು ಲಿವ್ in this life that means if the ayushya is still there for the physical body your physical body if the ayushya pramana is still there kalam nayetha spend your time observing your prarabdha that is understood spend your time kalam nayetha it looks so simple naturally you have to live whether you like or not morning and day and day and morning will come and come and go and months weeks will come and go months will come and go years will come and go nobody will sit in the home and start thinking that okay okay when when i am going to die when i am going to die one more day over one more day over one more week over one month over no nobody will think like that if we start thinking people in the world in the material world call him as a mad cat if you say like that so acharya is not meaning in that sense what acharya is telling here if your prarabdha is there still 
That means if your lifespan of the physical body is still persisting, at the verge of dawn of reality, how you should conduct? Always think of Brahma Padartha. Always be in that mode of Brahma Vasa. Always, always, always. Drishyam Pratitam Pravilapayan Swayam Sanmatram Ananda Ganam Vibhavayan By forcibly forgetting whatever is perceived by your five senses, not giving importance to what you see, not giving importance to what you hear all the time, not giving much importance to what you touch, what you taste, not giving much importance. Drushyam Pratitam Pravilapayan Swayam Withdraw from all the sense objects and sensory perceptions about the world, what you are living through, going through. Observe everything as a purely witness mode. Don't react in your mind. That is the key point. What you see, what you hear, what you touch, what you smell, what you eat, what you drink. Take things as they come. Don't react too much inside. You disconnect yourself. Destroy means disconnect yourself, pure yourself from all the five sensory perceptions your body, mind receiving and your body is reacting. Separation, dissociation. Suttulu akta kanta prapancha the gatnegalige namma aidu indriyegalige na spandane na marta idhevela avugalinda mukti pade do avugalige sangana iru iru antasthi. Avagalay jyote ke sammanda ilde roha ke manasna likhe vala sakshe bhav dinda note pairo. Tan matra ananda ghanam vibhayan vibhavayan samahita hasan bahirantaram va kalam nayeta sati karma bande. Acharya tells his disciple. He is telling the disciple here. Look, my dear disciple. On the path of sadhana, you, you want to reach God. You want to realize the true nature of yourself, who you are. You want to be emancipated, is it not? Then, always, with all the knowledge and teaching so far I have given you, <coughs> you are adept in Upanishads, you are adept in Bhagavad Gita and Brahma Sutra and all Prakrana Grantha and Vedanta. This Prakriya. So always contemplate, do the manana on everything you have learned, what Upanishads say, everything you want, contemplating, forgetting, not indulging, not associating. Whatever you see, whatever you touch, whatever you feel, whatever you eat, not involving too much in that. The body is doing all the functions, but you are no more the body. You are away. You are outside the body. You are not connected with the body. Though you are inside, you are no way connected with the body. Think like that all the time. Your body, mind, they are doing functions. You are not doing anything. Think like that. Drushyam Pratitam Pravilapayan Swayam. That means the same. Everything destroy all the feelings inside the mind means you become a witness. See, your eyes will see so many things. Isn't it? You, you cannot order the eye to see only a particular thing, not to see another. When the eyes are open, it will see. When the ear is there, not defective, you hear all the sounds. When the food is there, whatever the taste is there, your tongue will taste. And you can touch anything from your hands. And when the smell is there, your nose will receive the smell, good or bad. You cannot control. You cannot tell your nose, Baba, receive only the good smell. Don't receive the bad smell, bad odor. You cannot order the nose. Nose is doing its function. Eyes are doing their function in their own orbs. In their Golakas, they are set. 
the five senses sensory organs are meant to perceive the world outside they receive the information from outside they react they receive pass it on to the brain correct so why do you react let them do their job you become dissociated how always sanmatr ananda ganam vibhavayan samahitah san bahirantaram va third line is very important very key phrase here acharya tells the disciple how to conduct in the sadhana by living in the world seeing the world with the eyes hearing with the ears smelling with the nose eating with the tongue tasting with the tongue and with the sparsha with the feeling of touch how to conduct acharya samahitah san bahirantarva bahirantaram va sanmatram ananda ganam vibhavayan samahitam san bahirantaram so from inside and outside you always become tagged on to the one locus that is brahmapadar always reflect remember that the only one brahmapadar there is only supreme consciousness there is only one ishvara vastu nirakara tatva formless nameless uncomprehendable it is beyond the mind i cannot think the mind cannot reach there the intellect cannot reach and codify quantify what it it is beyond there is only one person in the entire cosmos the whole creation the cosmos has come from that only that is a original mola sanatana avyakta it is beyond the avyakta beyond the unmanifest so there is only one thing ब्रह्म पदार्थ परब्रह्म वस्तु परब्रह्म पदार्थ सद्वस्तु चिन्मूर्ति प्रज्ञान घन वस्तु इट इज ऑलवेज एटर्नल नो बर्थ आर नो डेथ इट रिमेन्स एज इट इज इट इज बियॉन्ड 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 द टाइम कॉन्सेप्ट स्पेस कॉन्सेप्ट कंटिन्यूम कॉन्सेप्ट इट इज बियॉन्ड सत्वगुण रजोगुण तमोगुण इट इज गुणातीत इट इज kalati it is beyond what you call as present past future kalati beyond that. it is punati eta kalati eta deshati eta avasthatrayati eta it is beyond your what you call waking state dream state deep sleep state. so anything you cannot compare it is beyond everything so contemplating on that is only one vastu sad vastu brahma vastu like that. so inside and outside contemplate all the time like that. all the time like that. so there is a another saying in the upanishad the it says externally when the our sense organs like eyes and ears see they receive information when you walk and look and hear when you eat when you talk you are receiving information your eyes are seeing ears are hearing when you are eating your tongue is smell uh, tasting different varieties of food so how to conduct yourself internally in the mind yam bhuna sannapito yam na tejo na vayur na kham na pit tat karya jatam तेज अग्नि no are you i am not even the wind na kham i am not even the akasha space nor i am the effects of the five panch mahabhuta na tatkar yajata i am nothing of all these things yat etat adishthana bhutam vishuddham sadekam parama yatta devaha i am that single substratum i am that original 
substratum adhisthanam on which the whole creation is resting the whole creation has come i am that vishuddham i am that ekam sadekam i am that paramam i am that beyond anything to explain i am that eternal self shine that is how the mind should contemplate indrashekara maaswamam maaswamam will writes all these things in the bhashyam on the shloka here and this shloka all this is given by mahaswami himself and uh, looking at the inner things how we should contemplate na deho na chaksha ni na prana vayur mano na api buddhar na chitam ahamadihi ಯದೇಷಾಮಧಿಷ್ಠಾನೂತಂ ವಿಶುದ್ಧಂ ಸದೇಕಂ ಪರಂ ಯತ್ರ ದೇವಾಹಮಸ್ಮಿ ಸೊ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲಿ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಕಾಂಟೆಂಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಫೈವ್ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿ ಐಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನೋಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಕಿನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇವನ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಪಂಚ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇವನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮನಸ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇವನ್ ದ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇವನ್ ದ ಚಿತ್ತ i am not even ahamadi i am not even this ahankara and uh, related effects of ahankara ego factor i am pure adishthana for all these things internally i am vishuddham sadekam param yatra devahamas yatat devahamas i am that eternal single individual only ekam eva advitiyam vastu that is how i should contemplate acharya said mahaswami has given all these things in his bhashya adishtha so that is how acharya starts in this shloka 319 so with the guru sankalpa we are stopping here today <coughs> ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ಜಯ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ಜಯ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ಜಯ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಓಂ ನಮಃ ಭಗವತೆ ವಿರಾಟ್ ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಸರ್ Thank you so much for this Amrita Dhare every week. <laughs>